Hi everybody, it's Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art. I hope you're all well. Thank you for stopping by the channel and checking out the new release from Heartfelt Creations Wild Rose Collection. So on this channel we do all kinds of crafting, gardening, paper goods, paper crafts, and this is the March release. Forgive me for being a few days late. I've been a little preoccupied as this is um, the middle of March 2020 in case you're watching this after that date. Uh, I think many of us have been preoccupied and I was going to hold off on uh, putting this up until I had some things made but where I'm a school teacher and I'm going to be out of school for a while as many people are I thought I'll just put up the video to show everybody what they released this month and then I think I'm gonna have some time to get some things done so this is a lovely dusty rose based on sort of your old-fashioned type of roses and the the collection does have a little bit of a difference from their typical collection I'll show you the papers first the smaller cards the lovely borders so a dusty antique rose colored with a, a little bit of a soft violet some lovely greens in sage um, some lending themselves towards Kelly Green and these are some more of the cards that you can put your stamping and your three-dimensional flowers that I'll show you in a moment in. Here are some of the sentiments on the side that you can use on these cards. A really cute little window scene here with some stripes, some lace, a little bit of a diamond shape pattern from the inside. And then this is a lovely layout page with this very lacy looking border detailed down to the little tips on the edges, a lovely cluster of roses, script, cluster of roses climbing up the side with more of um, a fern type petal that goes along with this. And then this lovely gentle green with these little bouquets of roses here. Very pretty collection. I love the colors. I love the gentleness of the colors. I mean, I like when colors pop. Well, I just like color and probably many of you do too. So here are some of the tags. Lovely with those beautiful flower borders. And again, a dusty sort of antiqued rose. These are very intricate little details around all of the flowers. A cute little scene with the, with the cottage and the flowers around it. Some of our favorite swirls, some script, a nice sage green on that one. I love this plaid. This is a, if I had to pick out a plaid, this would probably be out of thousands of colors, the ones I would go toward. So it has a little pop of the violet side to it, but especially in the edges where it is not all just one color and it darkens as it gets near the edges. It's almost already inked for you. There's more of an antique version. And then I don't know if you can see them, there's little swirls and things running through that. I really love this pattern. Here's another lovely layout page with a bit of design in the corner. The lovely roses along the top of the border. Some delicate, intricate work here. Even more as you look deeper into the paper. A little bit of script and some more design running throughout. A nice stripe with the gentle dusty rose, the more violet, the sage green, and again you can see some of the ghosting that's going along here down at the bottom. This is one of the two pages that they have for cutting out directly from the dies. So you, if you don't have time to color, uh, you can just pop these into the dies and then the molds. They have two sets of molds with this collection. And then voila, you have your flowers. So there's two of each of the ones I'm showing you right now. And this nice background, which you can use if you're not going to pop the colors or the flowers out on the other side. And then they have this one. This one with the smaller version. So there's a large set of roses uh, for a die, collect, a die cut and then there's a matching mold to go with it and then there's these small ones and they cut out in these little clusters. I'll show those to you in just a minute. This is a very gentle baby soft pink. 
here are some of the six by sixes in smaller cards. Blending more to the lime green. It doesn't quite look that on the camera as I see it, but it does have a little bit more of lime. It's, it's, a, it's a sage lime combination. And again, some lovely detail in it. Six by sixes of the larger ones that we've seen. I don't know if I showed this one to you. I think I skipped over the very first page, but at any rate, there's a full page of this. A little village or a cottage. And this is a lovely dusty rose. I love this page. I definitely will be using this. It has the script and design running throughout it, but it's really the color. It's so nice. More six by sixes of the same ones we saw in the large layouts. A very nice sagey, too darker. Um, oh, what's that color that was so popular so many in the 80s there? Um, evergreen? No, I forget the name of it. Everybody was doing their kitchens with it. Well, anyway, a lovely green with lots of design throughout, not just a flat green. And this is really neat. Their, their typical uh, tag page does not have a lot of uh, sentiment written into them. So for those of you who have been collecting the stamps and the sentiments for a long time, the tags are all set to go. They're beautiful and you can just stamp your own sentiment, maybe emboss it. This is an interesting page. It really pops of a, a vibrant violet with of course the dark edges. So violet is your color. Perfect. Okay, so those are the papers. Beautiful. I love this. It does remind me of um, the roses that they had years ago except a more pink antiqued version. So here is the set for the wild rose in the large. And so there's your stamps. And here are your dies that go with it. These are sold separately but they're perfect together. And then for the smaller roses they have the small wild rose and small wild rose die. And here are your sizes. So that's really great. You can fill up two of the molds and pop them through. One more die I'd like to show you. I'll definitely be playing with this. A new Treasured Heart gift box. So this is, I think, an octagon shape. Yeah. And all these are parts that you can put on to decorate it. So if you're looking for something for a little gathering, a shower that's coming up, getting ready for a fall wedding, um, something like that. I know a lot of things are held off right now. Don't worry folks. We'll make it through this, okay? And we crafters know what to do with the spare time that we have right now. We enjoy doing things like this. We do a little shopping. These papers are made right here in America. We can help out a little bit with uh, the shopping that we can afford to do. And we can make things for people and cheer them up and prepare for things in the future. So here is the small 3D wild rose shaping mold and here is the large and they kind of go together with these sets. If you haven't seen these you die cut your flowers and you don't need the um, you don't need the stamp but it helps. It's nice to have the the lines of the flowers and things in there and then you run it through your die and you could just do it with the dies and then you put it in here and run it through your die cut machine and lo and behold much of the construction work the uh, the molding work that you would have to do by hand is completed and I do want to thank Heartfelt for also sending this to me so that you can see they have now these larger versions of these rose hip stamens so these are for your, your really large ones so they've had a lot of uh, little ones for sale in the recent past, but these are very vibrant, vibrant colors and they are the large stamens. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this. I, Like I said, I'm home. Schools are closed and I'm hoping to do a lot of gardening and I already have a, quite a bit of uh, seed started, so maybe I'll share some of that with you and I'll also be back with some crafting if um, it all stays safe and healthy here in my home and uh, I Wish the best for everybody out there. Do what you're told to do in protecting yourself and your loved ones and your neighbors and take care of each other. Till next time, everybody, this is Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art. God bless.